What's up you guys? Today we're going to take a look at a new piece of gear that I had picked up. It was actually a gift from Greg. Uh, you usually see him in a lot of my videos. Um, it is the Helinox Chair Zero. This is a one pound backpacking chair. It is very compact, very lightweight. This is something that I considered picking up for quite a while and just never wanted to spend the money on it and never really wanted to add the extra weight but it was actually on a black friday sale it was pretty much almost half price and he picked me one up and had it shipped to me um i got tired of like getting to camp and not being any logs to sit on or it's snowing or raining and everything's wet you don't want to sit on the ground and always thought it'd be nice to have a place to sit and i've been on a few trips and some of the guys actually a lot of the guys have the Helinox chairs and even some other uh, cheaper chairs or you know whatever the case is and it was really nice to have something to sit in um, so kind of got one and I'm really loving it so far alright you guys like I said this is a one pound backpacking chair it has a maximum load capacity of 265 pounds the frame of it is made out of DAC aluminum and the seat material and back material is made out of ripstop polyester. The measurements on this when packed up in the bag are 13.8 inches by 3.9 by 3.9. It is very compact. Um, there's no problems at all fitting it in the back mesh part of your pack or even in a side pocket or something like that. You could even put it in your pack if you have the room. Um, so it's, it's very unnoticeable to have. Uh, one of the downsides of this chair other than the full price, this chair is I think around $120, um, is the legs of it are pretty skinny so if you're on snow or on wet ground or something like that it does tend to sink and Helinox I guess realizes that was an issue so they made what is called a ground sheet for it. It's pretty much just a square of, I'm assuming the same material that the seat is made out of, uh, maybe a little thicker, but the chair actually sits on it. The legs sit in like little pockets and there's a piece of Velcro that kind of goes up and over the bottom crossbar to hold the ground sheet around the legs. It spreads out the surface area so you don't have just the tiny little legs digging into the snow or the cement. It's a huge piece of fabric. So it spreads all your weight out and it keeps it from sinking. I don't know necessarily if that's something that I'm going to pick up. Um, I don't know that this is necessarily a chair that I'm going to bring on every trip. It'll probably be, you know, kind of a case by case basis. Um, just because I don't know that I'll necessarily need it all the time. If, if I plan on like crushing a bunch of miles and I plan on getting to camp and setting up and passing out, um, I probably won't bring it. Uh, but we'll just see. So I will uh, bring the chair. This is the packed size of the chair here. As you can see, I mean, it's nothing. Um, I will get it out of the bag and set it up for you guys and show you how easy it is to set up. Uh, and it even has instructions on the chair itself, so if you can't figure it out. All right, you guys, here's the chair all packed up. Like I said, it's just a drawstring here. Comes packed up all nice and neat. Here are is the DAC aluminum poles. It is a single shot cord through each of them, so it makes it easy to set up. I mean, you can almost just pretty much let it do what it does. All right, you guys, there is the actual frame of the chair very lightweight here is the seat material 
like I said, it does have instructions on the bottom for setting it up if you can't figure it out. It has the four posts. Each of the four posts have little pockets on this to go into. And even says right here, this side down. So let's get her set up. All right, you guys, there's the chair all set up. Nothing to it. All right, you guys, this is the chair all set up. And as you can see, you kind of sit relaxed. You can kind of kick back a little bit and just enjoy your time at camp before it's bedtime. Uh, I'm trying out a new lavalier mic on this. Uh, I'm usually using a shotgun mic and wanted to do something a little different for my audio so let me know what you guys think um, about the audio see if it sounds a little better and i hope you guys enjoyed the look at the helinox chair zero it is definitely worth the investment in my opinion and i think you guys will enjoy it too so that's it you guys hope to see you guys on the next trip